Well, in continuing with the absolute failure by woke liberal SJW Disney uh, in their you know, a attempt at making what they would call a Star Wars hotel, which it's Star Wars in name, but the problem is they just forgot to add Star Wars to it because it's, it's just generic sci-fi, you know, stuff you would like from the 80s or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I could say a whole lot more on that, but it's failing. And by the way, too, it's $6,000 for a family of four. Yeah, you can get a trip to the Caribbean at a luxury hotel for less than half that price, but I could say a whole lot more on that. But it seems that no matter how much of the Disney shills have to come and, you know, give good reviews, that which they did at the beginning, no matter, you know, how much they have to cancel bookings and do all this other, you know, ducking and weaving, they're still failing. And it seems like now they're having to give $700 discounts and they're still failing. <laughs> you know, yeah, this is kind of what happens when you make a um, Star Wars hotel, but just forget to add the Star Wars to it. Anyway, continuing on, this is what it says in the article on uh, Insider. It says, you can now get $700 in discounts at Disney's Star Wars themed hotel, but a two night stay still costs thousands. A two night stay at the Star Wars themed Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel and attraction typically costs $5,000. Uh, new discounts offer up to $700 in, in savings for two nights. Yeah, it's still gonna cost you thousands, but hey, you're gonna save $700. I mean, <laughs> yeah, real, real appealing right there. And they wonder why it's failing. Well, continuing on in the article, it says, Disney is making it a little easier to visit a galaxy far, far away after it slashed prices at, at its banner Star Wars Hotel in Disney World. The uh, two nights at the Star Wars themed Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel, an attraction which launched, launched last year, typically cost guests $5,000, according to the New York Post. Now Disney is offering up to $700 in discounts as it looks to fill beds at the uh, much lauded spot, according to the Walt Disney World website. The hotel was panned after it opened. Sorry, panned after it opened last year, with guests complaining the rooms were little more than windowless bunkers. Though the New York Times reported, some media outlets, outlets like CNBC applauded the hotel for its ability to bring guests into the world of Star Wars, but guests have remained lukewarm. Some Twitter users last month predicted the upcoming price cuts at the hotel, with extra charges for food, drink, and Star Wars-based experiences. So you've already forked over thousands of dollars, but you, you, I mean, you still have to pay for your food and all this other stuff. So you're, you're just, you know, blading more, you know, hundreds of dollars, you know, essentially just emptying your wallet of more hundreds of dollars just to get food and all this other stuff. I mean, yeah, like I said, you can get a luxury trip to the Caribbean, food already covered in the expenses for less than half that price. And, and for not just two days, but for two weeks, but you know. Whatever. I mean, I mean, what's to be expected from woke liberal SJW Disney? Continuing on in the article, uh, generally, sorry, so, uh, generally Disney is, is going to have to eventually drop that price on the Galactic Star Cruiser. One Twitter user, sorry, one user tweeted, "I don't know why they're fighting it." Uh, it says, uh, "We are almost a year into the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser opening, and I've pretty much seen nothing on social media or YouTube about it." Another user tweeted in late January, "I don't want to call the Star Cruiser a failure, but it does seem that almost all of the hype is officially dead." Yeah, and even the original hype, essentially what it was, you get Disney shills who were basically paid to go there or got to go there for free and they had to write a good review. Or else they would, you know, lose their financial cahoots they, they had with Disney. Yeah, but even then it's still failing. Continuing on the article on Insider. Uh, the steepest cut onto Disney's website uh, is a discount of $350 per night on a two night stay. Other discounts range from $150 to $250 per night. Yeah, real appealing. You're still having to pay thousands of dollars, but you're still... And then, again, that's not even counting. you got to pay for the food and you know, all this other stuff. Merchandise, you don't even get that covered. You know, but you're saving yourself $150 on a $6,000, you know, $5,000 two-night stay. Yeah, real appealing there, uh, woke liberal SJW Disney. Yeah, it's it's a it's a complete joke. It's just fun laughing at this whole mess. So, I mean, somebody actually thought this was going to be a good idea. That's kind of the really hilarious part. It's not the failure itself, but just the fact that somebody actually thought this was a good idea. And actually constructed this whole thing and, you know, it's it's hilarious. But hey, you know, you go woke, you go broke. And woke liberal SJW Disney just fails time and time again. So anyway, it's fun laughing at this whole mess. But anyway, I could say a whole lot more, but not going to bother. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.